What's up guys, we are playing Dungeon Defenders 2. Now, full disclosure, I've been playing this game, I'm pretty high level, but this is a new computer. I think I might start a new character and just start over, fresh from the beginning. Uh, this might be a series. Uh, I'm gonna do a couple maps on this first uh, playthrough and uh, let's see how it goes. This game takes forever to like bring up because for some reason it puts you into a game with other people first oh yeah I definitely have to start a new character now so usually what I do is I usually switch between two characters I usually switch between the squire here and uh, the monk I really like those two now a nice well balance is the apprentice but I don't know I usually have friends who play the apprentice so I like the monk personally so we're gonna start with the squire Eventually we'll start leveling up. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. I can't talk today either. What's up with that? Uh, we'll start with the squire. Um, eventually we'll start up with the uh, monk as well. Just so I can tag team him. It's usually a lot better. This game is built so that the best way to play it is with other people who, and you're all playing different classes. Me, I'm usually the squire because I'm like, that's the strongest one. Usually I just set up some barriers and I'm set. Um, I just keep going. Just attack things. Bab... Babar? Oh, this is like a tutorial. Alright. They actually have a tutorial going. That's interesting. To move. Spacebar to jump. Sure, why not? Look at this. Hey, how about you let me attack? Instead of giving me tutorials. <gasps> I'm apparently not very good at this game. It's been a while. Gonna get him in the corner and just beat him up. Uh, the blue gems basically let you use your hero hero abilities like this one right here, and the green ones like these, which you pick up only from chests and from killing enemies, is to basically uh, upgrade defenses. And these really need to be like healed but they're telling me to set some stuff so let's see five we'll just do this bam it's telling me where to put them why do they have to tell me where to put them how do I repair oh R alright oh yeah some of these have uh, these little things which I'm gonna activate and voila Kills these things. Very good uh, booby traps on each level that you kind of need to watch for because uh, there's usually some big enemies that you can trap using them. That's usually a lot easier. And see, when you kill enemies you get these green ones so you kind of have to collect them as it goes along. Because, like I said, green Basically, it lets you upgrade everything. Upgrade or build. Now, some of these... Granted, uh, I can't show an example right now. But, uh, some of these abilities, some of the defenses, can be used in tandem. For example, uh... The Huntress has a water trap. You set the water trap, and if you use it just before uh, they get into the electric field from the monk, the electric field will do more damage because they're they're wet. Big enemy coming down. Who's coming? Oh, that one. I love how this early in the game that that's considered a big enemy. It's not like I can upgrade any of these. I'm just gonna build a lot of them because I can't upgrade them yet. 
War boar. War boar. War boar. A war boar. We're, we're gonna kill a war boar. We're gonna kill a war boar. We're gonna kill a war boar. Did they make the size of the model big? Oh, yeah, they definitely made the size of the model bigger for this guy. Um. Wow. Alright. Hey, buddy. Come here. Come here, buddy. Lost to most of my health, but hey, he's dead. Level three. Yes! Upgraded. Upgrade again, upgrade again. Oh, upgrade again. Dang it. Well, it gave me this, so. Equip that. Square. What the heck? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Hey, watch your mouth, woman! I actually really like this. Oh my god, it's... Did... The... <laughs> they made a Harry Potter apprentice. I want to play apprentice now. Just for that. <laughs> Accessories. Wear my crown. Uh, wear that. Sure. This is what I strive for. When you find more powerful items, remember to equip them at the forge and increase your eye power. Now find the mailbox and check for any new deliveries. Oh my god. I think I already did that. Alright, no rewards. This game introduced subcore, so... Secondary objective, subcore, whatever. Basically, this... If this falls... Then this entrance opens up and they have another entrance to come through and it's right in front of the core. So this can fall and I'll st I can still succeed, it'll just make it a lot harder. I was actually a really big fan of the first Dungeon Defenders. Uh, I played it a lot with my friends. Uh, the second one I'm enjoying, uh, I don't think as much as the first one though. Like they've added a lot of stuff. This is still an alpha, so I understand that there's a lot of stuff they still need to add. But, I mean, for now, I, I still think the first one was better. I really liked it, even though it had a whole lot of, like, things that really made it off balance. Like, uh, oh, I don't know. Having one character who didn't have any defenses, just really powerful, like, dual wielding. Then there's another one that you could summon, like, crystal enemies, but it didn't cost defense units. So, you could essentially just have more more defenses without the cost of defense units if you're playing with other people. Hey, I can upgrade. I can upgrade now. That's cool. So, instead of creating more, I'm just going to upgrade everything that I can. I think it costs 50 gems to upgrade each one. Let's see. Yep, 50. I'm just gonna upgrade all these. So, let's see which ones to upgrade here. 61. Look at that. Doing some damage. This is obviously the one to do it. 42. 56. Oh, oh. 59. This is the one. Defense power. Sure, I'll equip that. I get distracted. It's like, oh, enemies are coming. Yeah, let me look at this. I want to see if I can upgrade. Don't mind me. Just collecting gems. Go about your business. Oh, God, I hate these things. <sighs> that sucks. So since I only have the cannonballs, I can't really... There's not a lot of strategy... Here. I'm just like setting a bunch of cannonballs and seeing seeing if they can survive, you know? Is he seriously a boss in this? I mean they be so, they become extremely commonplace later on. Like there's usually one with every wave. 
These ones seem a little larger, though. At least that one does. They definitely made the boss ones a lot bigger since the last update. Okay, cool. They decreased his, uh, his range. It used to be, uh, his range was outrageous. Like, he was beyond any of the towers, so he could just sit back and snipe them. So you'd have to be, like, really vigilant. Uh... It looks like they decreased his range, uh, which is good. It means my towers can kill him, but it means less strategy. So I'm not, I'm a little weird about where that could be. I don't know. I don't know if I wanted it to keep it the same or, I don't know. Seems weird that it would have now, like, oh yeah, now your towers can kill it. No problem. Kind of defeats the purpose of that enemy, I think. Okay, so I just unlocked the spike blockade. Uh, that's, uh, let's see, this thing? It's this one here. It's really good. Uh, basically, uh, it takes the brunt of the damage. If they get too close, they get damaged, but not a lot. It's mostly used as a distraction. You put it in front, and the tower's in the back, and basically, they will... Attack this thing instead of your defense towers. What's up, Chris Pratt? Okay, so medallions are mostly uh, defense power. Uh, great for solo heroes, which is us for now. Uh, totems, defense health. Uh, heroes who build barricades. Kind of like me, but I've kind of been focusing uh, on my Squire build, I've been focusing on defense power and defense health. Actually I take that back, I've been focusing mostly on defense health because uh, usually most of the power, the defense power that I need comes from the monk. So defense, t the medallions I'd probably use on the monk, I'll take a totem for my guy. I remember seeing this level, I hate this level. Alright, so basically this level uh, has some great traps that you're too busy as a solo player to focus on. But it has these things. Twist this a few seconds later. Get that. Damages enemies. The most useful trap, however, is this one right here. Turn that. Basically wipes everybody out that's right here. So we got three cannonball towers with a blockade on each one of these entrances. And that's a good thing. Basically the goal of this is I don't want to have to get in there and attack things. I just want to sit back, relax, let all my towers take care of it. Where's the subcore? Okay, so the subcore is up here. If it falls, then that opens up. Crap. I just realized that. Basically, totally, totally blank that there has a subcore on this, so I'm gonna have to defend it by myself. Hopefully my towers can uh, take care of everything else. That looks like the Master Sword, I'll take it. Well, it's obviously not the Master Sword at this level, but... I think it's based on level now, but it used to be you could adjust all of your hero stats when you leveled up. And that was things like character speed and things like that. And it was annoying, because when you first started out, you'd walk like really, really slow. But now everyone seems to, all the characters seem to run at the same speed. My character's a little bit slower than the monk. Quite a bit slower than the monk, actually, I think. 
The monk's kind of made for mobility. Well, the hunter's is the fastest, though. I mean, just because we can, I'm going to make another one at each one. Another one at each one. <laughs> I'm going to make another tower at each defense location. Location. I'm not going to make that. Oh. Up, up, up. Alright. I don't even know why I bothered swinging the sword. Oh, this guy. Anybody else? No? Good. I know, I've played this game before, but... <laughs> you'd think I wouldn't be that overpowered, right? I mean, I just started a new character. It's not like I got any special pre-order weapons or anything. No, I'm just playing it. You'd think it'd be harder. Jeez, already. Okay. I can kill this guy pretty easily. Ooh! That armor looks wicked. Yeah, down you go. And I got an awesome new sword. I will take it. That does water damage. That'll really come in handy once I get my monk going. Because then I can do water damage to somebody. And then the electric field from the monk will do bonus damage after I hit these guys. I wonder if I lost all my characters because they just did an upgrade. Like, I, they just had an update to the game, so maybe they just did a wipe. This is still pre-alpha. I think that is what happened. Uh, which sucks, because I had, like, a really high-level character. Like, I was already at endgame. Like, I was above level 22. It was nice. Had a lot of cool stuff. I mean, I'm already level 7 just in this gameplay. So it's pretty easy to level up in this. You just kind of keep going. A shield shaped like a crab. Sure, why not? Alright, so we completed the tutorial and two levels. So, I think this is a good place to stop. Uh, I'm going to level up this character. Hopefully when we come back, I'll have my monk so we can get some nice dual team action going. Uh, hopefully I can get some friends in on this game so we can get more than just me talking to myself. Uh, so yeah, hope you enjoyed. Uh, like, subscribe, and we'll see you next time on Dungeon Defenders.